Welcome everybody, this is the boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC Mori Tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Audio V gaming content. And with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your simple police helper menu inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then we can get straight into it. Now all you guys gotta do is that you gotta go inside my description below and you'll see this link. This link will be the LSPDFR link. So click on that link and that link will redirect you to this page. All you gotta do is just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see simple police helper menu. Now once you have clicked on that simple police helper menu, all you gotta do is just scroll down the bottom, then click on download this file and then now uh, this process will take a few seconds and then click on agree and download but unfortunately i have already downloaded this mod so i don't need to download it it's right over here once you have finished downloading the mod all you gotta do is open up the extract folder and then now uh, there goes the mod open up your simple police helper mod folder and then go to your Grand Theft Auto V folder. Then open up your scripts folder. And then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Hover over it. Right click and open file location. Now next thing you gotta do is just make sure that you got a scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, then you can just go on your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Once you have done that, open up your scripts folder. As you can see, my one is completely empty. Now all you guys gotta do, K okay, next is select all the files that's inside that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder exit out of your extract folder so open up your native ui extract folder make sure it's the latest one and then now click on native ui.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder as well exit out of your extract folder go back to your grand theft auto v main folder Right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Franklin, so we are here with, with Franklin, but unfortunately I forgot to show you guys one more important thing. Now the reason why I made my game small, to show my desktop, because I forgot to show you guys one more important thing. And... I forgot to mention this to you guys, okay, so uh, this is your game folder. Go to your scripts folder. Now inside your scripts folder will be your simple police helper dot ini file, okay. Now this ini file is really important, so all you gotta do is double click on that folder. And now it will say open menu is a 5 so to open the menu is to press F5 but if you have another menu in F5 then you can change the key code you can change the key code to F6, F7 or change it to G, H or change it to 1, 2 or 3 it all depends on you so if you want to change your key code you can but I'm going to leave it as default as F5, okay? So you can change the key code if you want to, 
it's totally up to you so that's what I wanted to show you guys okay is the key to open the menu is F5 but you can change it if you want to so let's get back to the game now we are in the game okay guys and we are here with Franklin now as you guys heard before to open the menu is F5 so here we go in five four three two one F5 so over here we can do a lot of things okay um, here's the player settings you can set the player settings if you want to um, full health full armor and everyone is ignoring you if you want to um, garage you can spawn a vehicle if you want to uh, let me say police bike and there we go um, and let's jump off and you can um, bring back the menu so yeah that's the garage okay now vehicle options okay you can um, do up uh, like uh, armor tires delete the vehicle you can customize your vehicle if you want to um, now police stations you can teleport to the police stations if you want to so yeah this menu is only good to good to help you to change your cars or change your outfits or yeah or change your weapons and just to give you more you know more life into your LSPDFR okay guys so that's how you install this menu it's quite simple so I hope you guys do enjoy this menu and we are back okay guys so I hope you do enjoy this video just to let you guys know that if you guys do need help installing this mod okay then please let me let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out if you guys do need help with any other mods then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out don't forget guys that you must install LSPDFR2 to give you more uh, work inside this mod okay guys so this mod is an awesome mod okay only if you play it right so like always guys I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content and tutorials and I'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out